Today we're going to learn about red black tree insertions. In this video, we'll focus on strategy, and in the next video, we'll do a few examples. If you haven't seen my other tutorials about red black tree basics and rotations, please start with those. So, why must insertions be done with care? We learned earlier that red black trees are a type of self balancing binary search tree. When we insert a new node, we must ensure the tree gets rebalanced and all red black tree properties are met. As a short reminder, here are those properties. We've covered them previously, so I'll let you review them yourself. Let's also do a quick refresher on relationships in a binary tree. A is Z's parent, B is Z's grandparent, and D is Z's uncle. Let's begin and discuss the high-level strategy we'll use for inserting nodes into a red black tree. There are two main steps. First, we insert the node and color it red. Second, we recolor and rotate nodes to fix the violation. You may wonder, why do we color the node red? We know eventually we have to get back to these properties. By coloring the node red, we may break property two or three but it turns out these violations are fairly easy to fix, and you'll see how. Let's break down step two in our strategy. After we insert the node and color it red, there will be four main scenarios we can encounter that will need further attention. Z could be the root, Z's uncle might be red, and Z's uncle might be black. There are two different cases when Z has a black uncle. For now, ignore the triangle and line part in parentheses. We'll cover those later. Let's discuss case zero when Z is the root. This one is pretty simple. All we need to do is color Z black. Moving on to case one, when Z has a red uncle. For this situation, we recolor Z's parent, grandparent, and uncle. You might be wondering why B is red, the root of the tree. Just note that this is a subtree. You'll see case one is part of a larger tree in the example video. Case two is when Z's uncle is black, with triangle as the identifier. Let's say this is our graph. C is black and is Z's uncle. This is what I mean by triangle. Z, Z's parent, and Z's grandparent form a triangle. This is because Z is a left child and its parent A is a right child. You might also see the triangle case like this, where Z is a right child and its parent is a left child. Same thing, just symmetrical. When we encounter this case, we rotate Z's parent, doing so in the opposite direction of Z so Z takes the place of A. Nothing too tricky. Finally, case 3 is when Z's uncle is black, with line as the identifier. Again, C is Z's uncle, but as you can see, Z, Z's parent, and Z's grandparent form a line. That's because Z is a right child, and so is his parent A. The symmetrical situation is when they are both left children. For case 3, we rotate Z's grandparent, again in the opposite direction of Z, so that A takes the place of B. For case 3, you will need to recolor the original parent and grandparent after the rotation. That's it. Let's review quickly. To start, we insert the node and color it red. Red black trees have certain standards, so we must recolor and rotate nodes to fix violations. There are four possible fixes we'll encounter. First, when Z is the root, we color it black. Second, when Z's uncle is red, we recolor Z's parent, grandparent, and uncle. When Z's uncle is black and a triangle is formed, 
we rotate Z's parent. And when Z's uncle is black and a line is formed, we rotate Z's grandparent and do some recoloring. Here's the pseudocode for your reference. RB insert is simply inserting the node. RB insert fix up covers our four scenarios. Stay tuned for next time. You'll see our strategy in action as we walk through some examples. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you learned something.